This is such an epic intro, too, with, like, that chorus singing in the back, too. What's going on, all you lovely people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike O'Hora, and this is... Hey, lovely penguin, welcome back. Welcome to the waddle, my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, today we're here with our guy Jimin from BTS. Just dropped a brand new song, Set Me Free Part 2. Um, I'm excited for this. I heard it's uh, a pretty dope. I haven't actually heard anything about the songs. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm a day late, apparently. I thought it was supposed to come out today, but apparently it came out yesterday. So, that's, I mean, regardless, you're not going to see this till Sunday anyway. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, today is St. Patrick's Day. So, happy St. Patty's Day to you, all you fine friends out there. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, hopefully you guys got to enjoy the holiday if you celebrate it. Uh, because everybody gets to be Irish on a, a day like today. But, uh, yeah, today we're going to do this. So, right now, all that is out is the music video currently. So, we're going to watch the music video once without subtitles so that I can actually watch the video, enjoy it, hear the music, and really kind of feel the music a bit. Then we watch it with the subtitles as well so we can kind of uh, understand better what is to come. So, guys, let's dive in. But before we do, make sure you're subbed to the channel because we want to keep on growing. The only way I can do that is with your help. So please help me help you. All right, let's go. Big hit music. <laughs> Yo, what is that intro? Oh, that's epic. Damn, that sounds like... I don't know, it sounds like we're in like a freaking horror movie or something like that. This is kind of crazy. Well, oh, there he is. Oh! Yo, that's epic! What? Yo, oh my gosh, what? Yo, <laughs> yo, what? What on earth? This, this is, this is not what I was expecting. First off, epic and bold sound right off the rip with all the music and stuff. And then he comes in and he's freaking like is I don't even know is that is he rapping for that bit or just kind of like I don't know it's just deeper than I was expecting him to be you know what I mean uh, not not the typical gym and I'm used to hearing this this is this is very cool guys this is very cool this is very very cool plus also like already off the rip this music video is very intense uh, I I I do get the concept that they're going for it's kind of like a prison concept. Uh, of, of being stuck stuck in the motions I guess you could say um, very robotic and and uh, mirrored movements throughout by all the backup dancers and stuff here very very uh, stiff you know but it works super nice because uh, you know it set me free you know so we're singing about getting free this is cool this is very cool Uniform is what I should say. Dang, man. Sick. 
sick room with all the lights, too. What is that written on him? Robert Sturm Kingen die. It looks it looks like it's it, it looks like German. Maybe that's just the font. <laughs> Anybody know? Anybody know what what he has written on his chest and neck and everything? Huh. Dang, dude. This is this is very very different than what I thought it was going to be, but this is sick. This is this is awesome. Zombie horde. Oh, wardrobe change. Wow. Okay, hold on. Let's just get past this white screen so my face isn't blasted white. Okay, there we go. Dude, that is. That's good. That's a great, great. I, well, I guess technically it's not his first solo, but first solo for this kind of uh, this time period, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, that's a cool song. It sounds really good. I like how epic it is. It's got like a bit of those horns and stuff. It's interesting too. I I recently reacted to a guy named NF, and he has similar-ish instrumentals and stuff not the same but like the same sort of style there so it felt a little reminiscent of that but it was completely different than anything from nf you know yeah i just thought this was great i just thought this was really good i think this is sick art wise not much going on it looks i i'm not 100 percent sure i think they shot this on a location i don't believe this is within a studio Mainly because the place looks enormous. Plus, they do a couple of pan shots going around the group of people where there's walls all the way around, which means that they had to either construct a huge cylinder shape uh, for, for, for them to shoot inside of, or it could be a uh, previously built location. Probably for something else, but they obviously rented or whatever for the for the music video. Not that they wouldn't be able to do a build like that, but it seems a little much to do something of that size inside of a studio. I mean, they could have built one outside, but then that means they also have to build a roof over the top and stuff too, which makes it a little bit harder to make that seem reasonable. You know what I mean? So... In terms of art stuff, really not all that much going on. Pretty much, uh, it looks like it was mainly concrete floors. Those walls in the background, if they are from a location, most likely are concrete walls as well. And then they set up those lights in them so that they would light up each one. So that's why you can see them kind of flowing in and on and fading and whatnot to, to match the video. But 
yeah, really not much. Really, really not that much going on art wise. So we're gonna watch it again now with the subtitles on, mainly just to hear and see what Jimin actually has to say. I don't think this is gonna be that hard of a guess of what it is. I mean, being set free, I'm sure it has something to do with <clears throat> knowing Jimin. Most likely, it's gonna be due to like insecurities and stuff like that. Perhaps it'd be getting set free from those feelings of doubt in his own life and stuff like that. So who really knows at this point, but Jimin. So let's go find out from him. <laughs> Subs are on, let's go. Are they English? Yep. This is such an epic intro too, with like that chorus singing in the back too. That's a fun line. Going insane to stay sane. Huh. I wonder if that means like masking up our feelings of insecurities and stuff in order to look like everything's fine. So it's like you're actually going crazy in order to pretend like you're not crazy. I think that's probably what it is there, but I don't know. The lyrics make this song so much better. Oh my gosh, man. It's being set free from your past self. Nice. Hell yeah, Jimin. You be free, my man. You be freaking free, dude. You be free. 
<laughs> that song was great. That was a lot of fun. That's it's epic. It's it's very cool. The video is very cool, and uh, it's simplistic too. And honestly, I've said this to you guys in the past too, man. Like how you know, as an art person, a lot of times people think like, oh, the bigger the better. Not really. Sometimes the most simple videos are actually some of the best and honestly that video was stellar that was incredibly well done very good choreography there that team did an excellent job of executing the moves that they needed to do for the video and uh yeah i i loved it i thought that was fantastic great job jimin very proud hopefully hopefully uh this is a, a great moment for you of just being able to be yourself and and enjoy life to the fullest as you should and and not necessarily be burdened down by by haters or, or even just like looking at yourself in the past and seeing how <sighs> tied down you got a little bit you know in, in terms of you know mental things you know i'm sure there's plenty of stuff obviously i don't know you i don't know who you are as a person but most people struggle with some sort of doubt or depression or any real sort of mental health things you know to be honest so i mean i'm sure there's something but uh yeah i mean i i know insecurity was a huge thing with jimin as well so i mean hopefully that means he's he's finally getting past that too you know so this is very exciting i can't wait to hear what else jimin's going to come out with hopefully you guys can not wait either so let me know what did you guys think what did you think of the video did you guys notice anything that i did not Again, if anybody knows what those tattoos on him were or where they're from or whatnot, that would be super dope to let me know because I'm very curious as to what it is. That's really the only real artistic thing I can think of. But in, in fairness, that would be more of a art department – or not art department, sorry. Makeup would probably be the ones putting on the tattoos and stuff. So I don't know. Our team might provide them for them. I don't, I'm not really sure. I've never actually worked on a set where we've had to tattoo somebody. So I am not quite sure. But those are most like, those are just those like stick on ones, you know. But either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, leave me a sub and a like and all that good stuff. And comment and say I'm pretty. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, guys, I love you all. Stay aggressively positive, And we will catch you on the next one. Goodbye.